LCD, TFT, IPS, OLED, AMOLED, POLED, LTPS, LTPO, briefly explained. LCD displays represent the foundation on which most smartphone screens were built for more than a decade. An LCD screen uses a rear light source, known as a backlight, while liquid crystals control how this light passes through red, green, and blue subpixels to form the image. Because the backlight is always on, blacks are not truly black, and contrast is more limited. On the other hand, LCD screens are stable, do not suffer from burn-in, and can deliver good brightness levels. For LCD technology to be used efficiently on phones, a more precise method of pixel control was required. This led to the introduction of TFT, Thin Film Transistor Liquid Crystal Display. TFT uses a matrix of transistors that allows each pixel to be controlled individually. As a result, higher resolutions, stronger contrast, and a more stable image became possible. Samsung SGH-T100 released in 2002 was one of the first mobile phones equipped with a TFT LCD display, marking the transition from passive matrix screens to active matrix displays on mobile devices. Over time, manufacturers developed several display types derived directly from TFT, including TN and IPS. TN, or Twisted Pneumatic, is a simple type of TFT panel in which the twisting behavior of the liquid crystals limits color reproduction and viewing angles. For this reason, it was mostly used on entry-level phones. IPS – In-Plane Switching IPS is an evolution of TFT LCD displays, improving colors and viewing angles, while still retaining the inherent limitations of LCD technology, such as imperfect blacks and potentially higher power consumption depending on the implementation. At the same time, some manufacturers introduced their own LCD optimizations tailored specifically for smartphones, for example, Super PLS, plane to line switching, is Samsung's alternative to IPS. It offers higher brightness and wide viewing angles. Super LCD is an optimized version of IPS LCD, popularized by HTC, which integrates the touch layer more efficiently with the display panel. This results in a sharper image, reduced reflections, and better visibility in bright light. However, all of these limitations eventually led to the emergence of a completely different technology, OLED, Organic Light Emitting Diode Unlike LCD displays, an OLED screen no longer requires a light source behind the panel, because each pixel lights up individually and produces its own light. This completely changes the way the image looks. When a pixel needs to display black, it simply turns off, resulting in true blacks, much higher contrast, and an image that feels deeper and more alive. Another important advantage of OLED is power efficiency in certain scenarios. Because pixels only light up where needed, dark user interfaces or dark mode can consume less power than on an LCD display. There are, however, some limitations. The organic materials used in OLED panels degrade over time, and prolonged display of static elements can lead to burn-in, meaning permanent image retention on the screen. To reduce these problems and adapt OLED to the demands of modern smartphones, the technology was gradually created, resulting in several variants. AMOLED – Active Matrix OLED AMOLED is the mature form of OLED technology used in smartphones. It relies on an active matrix of transistors that controls each pixel individually. This allows for smoother displays, very fast response times, and improved power efficiency in certain use cases. In practice, most OLED screens found on smartphones today are AMOLED panels. P-OLED, also known as flexible OLED, uses a plastic substrate instead of glass, enabling curved or foldable displays. In terms of image quality, it is similar to AMOLED, but its key advantage is physical flexibility, which is essential for foldable smartphones. LTPS OLED Low Temperature Polycrystalline Silicon LTPS OLED uses more efficient transistors to control pixels, enabling high resolutions and high pixel densities. This technology helps keep power consumption better controlled and is widely used in modern smartphone OLED displays. LTPO – Low Temperature Polycrystalline Oxid LTPO OLED is the most important recent evolution of OLED technology for smartphones. It allows dynamic refresh rate adjustment from very low values such as 1 Hz up to 120 Hz, depending on the content being displayed. This way, the display remains smooth when needed, while energy consumption becomes much more efficient. It is important to note that many manufacturers use their own branding for displays. In most cases, these are marketing terms that describe optimizations of existing LCD or OLED panels, rather than completely different technologies. If you enjoyed this kind of video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and if you give us a like and leave a comment, it really helps us out. Thank you.